Okay, so I'm gonna get into some liquid description uh, for my buddy. Sorry, my pinky light's still dead. But um, he wanted to know specifically how people get to look, they get their waves to look, or their tunnels, so uh, clean. So I'm gonna explain that here. Um, first, I'm gonna explain what the idea behind a tunnel is, in case no one knows. But it's uh, not hard. It's relatively simple, especially if you can do some finger rolls. So, you know, you know, hold your hands like this, and just imagine like holding them right here, and then uh, pushing them out, uh, and pushing them out, and then holding your hand out, and then rotating it up, and then closing it again, and pulling it back. And then you do that with the other one. And you can alternate, and then you can do over ones, like close your fist again, bring it forward, let your pinky out this time, Extend your hand, rotate it around this bone right here, your arm. You're rotating this, and then pulling back. So remember, every time you're rotating, don't like try and whip it till you at least till you get it down. Rotate it around this arm. Yeah, that arm spins. So that's that's how you get that to look clean, or that's how you get that idea and that motion first of all. And then you could throw them wide, small, and combine them, and even, but okay, so we have the motion down, practice that, um, a key to getting them look, being, looking clean though, is, um, obviously practice, but, uh, practice holding that arm steady, making that motion, making a straight line up to your uh, viewer and then let it, don't start spinning like don't spin when you're going up and out because that looks that looks sloppy don't spin until you reach the full extension of your arm and then you're gonna and then you're gonna let it out and come back so key notes wait till your arms fully extended spin close and then come back out make full circles let your hand out before you start to rotate um, another thing to make them look bigger, wider, fuller, is to hold this hand backwards. See, if I don't push my hand back, the tunnel looks smaller. It doesn't look, it doesn't look very, you know, intense. If you pull, if you pull your hand back all the way, then that thing is gonna, that, that tunnel is gonna look really wide. So, um, you want to make sure you're doing that. Push your hands back, you know, every day, stretch your hands. That's one of the best things you can do. Um, it's going to make it easier when you're doing them for a large amount of time. Um, practice, you know, slowly rotating, doing it with your hands, outward, inward, different ones. You could do it close like this. You can even lead into, you know, the rolls from that. Let's do this. Um, okay, so that's the idea behind uh, the flail. Um, remember, you could do them behind, close, mess where they're going. You could throw some flails in there. Some combos once you learn your flails. Remember, your flails are almost the same where you're rotating around your wrist, but you're not holding your palm out. You're, you're rotating around this almost this joint like a ball. So that's the idea behind your flail. You know, another, a good practice for that is putting your hands, uh, put them like, take your hands, take them apart, up, up and down like this, actually cross them, so your arms are crossed, and then put this one up and this one down, so your palms are facing you. Now, just rotate them around each other, up, up, just 180, boom, and you can do inward flails. Uh, I'm trying to think uh, other techniques that is going to do it. Do it slow. Do it in front of the mirror. Why? Make sure. Another thing that makes it look cool is um, don't wait to put that other one out there till this is gone. Put it out there as you're closing that, so it's instantly something else to look at. Um, it's just going to look better. There's going to be something in front of their eyes. Mess with uh, a great concept that goes with liquid flails and um, whips is a uh, 
point of view. Um, some people give me light shows. I love light shows, getting from people, getting from people. But I know some people make a really good use of point of view, which is where you know you bring, you're changing the view, and you're not just holding a light show in front of their face the whole time. I love to get close because that's most stimulating for the eyes. But if you're doing this and you're all up in there, and then all of a sudden you pull this back, and they're like, okay, and then it's just like, bam. There's a lot of intense effects to that. Um, there's a lot of intensity to that transition. So use that. Um, this is my buddy's song he made. I'll do a quick demonstration just of some liquid right here. Um, another cool thing that you can do with those spins, um, you know, try and pretend you have a ball in your hand. Boop, boop, and then a flail. Some people tend to like that, just a little transitions. But remember, key points: rotate, extend, go out. Let lead with your hand, finger roll out, push your hand back. Extend it completely and rotate around this arm. Don't rotate with this. Rotate with your arm. Rotate with your arm. Make it look nice and clean. And that's that's all you need to do. Practice it. Get good with it. Do it slow. Do it to different tempoed songs to help. And that's all you're gonna need to do. Anyways, um, that's some concepts behind flails, uh, whips, liquid, point of view. Be sure to use them. Um, Hope you guys have a good one.